Well, I think that's pretty much us. Sort of loaded, loaded. Ready to rumble. Just got some little bits to put in, but swag's gonna sit there. Still gotta bring the big fridge and freezer in, and I guess we'll probably get rid of that bucket. But that's gonna be us, I think. We've loaded all the crap we didn't need in the caravan there, and kept the fishing rods on there. What we got going on here? Snatch strap, got that ready, and the winch controller, just because I don't get caught out, do we? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and 20 litre drum of diesel, which we've got to fuel up, so we're pretty much ready to go. A couple of days of work, and we haven't really got any time off. So um, I'm gonna try and do some shopping tomorrow night to try and stock everything up, so she's writing a little list. But that's it. Tested out the winch. Pretty much good to go for Kate York. The tip. The tip, not the dump, the tip. I said to um, Amber the other day, I said, we got our dates to go to the tip. And she's like, you need dates to go to the tip like that. And she obviously, because back, back home in England, we called the dump the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. But anyway, I guess that's going to do us. Um, we're heading off Friday morning. What is it now? Sunday. Yeah. So we just got to chuck in the pots and pans, the fridge, just the little stuff, little cooker, which will take up no room, and then fuel up, leave pretty early Friday. Try and get to try and get to the tip, aren't we? Friday afternoon. Uh, Punsan Bay, which is pretty much the tip. close to the tip. And we are doing a bit of a weird sort of trek, like a a diamond trek. We're going to Gunshot. Gunshot Creek first and then going to cut back across to Bamaga Drive. Sort of. We sort of planned that, so we'll see how we go. But I guess yeah. we'll pick this up Friday. Yeah, we just sort of want to get there quickly and then make our way back yeah. slowly. If that makes sense, just because we've got work on a Wednesday. So just want to. Yeah. Just in case anything happens, which you probably will know in our life. Nothing will happen. We got the winch ready and the snatchy. But we'll pick this up Friday morning, bright and early, it'll probably be dark. So um, we'll see you then. the next morning and um, well it's just starting to get bright and we've just hit the telegraph track I think this is telegraph road but yeah got up five o'clock in the morning race down uh, what is it Batavia Downs track and now we've got to here so pretty good little track no one on the road um, they've just graded it as well which is bloody awesome but car's doing good so I guess we'll go from here and keep on cracking north we've arrived at Bramwell Junction and so she's off to get some coffees try and keep her awake she's been asleep all morning but everything's good car's doing all right starting to get a bit filthy but that's all right oh and a quick tip if you're heading down from Weeper along the uh what is it batavia downs road the sun comes up early and we timed it pretty good there um an hour and a half on that road and literally just as we turned onto the telegraph road the sun came over the um sort of trees so would have killed our eyes but i think we timed it pretty well there but anyway bramwell junction there she is and now i guess we're going to head on to the old telegraph track which is just over there behind that little container and do the first little bit of old telly track i think the southern section and then jump back onto the bamaga road and do the northern section on the way back that's the plan so we're just around the corner there is the old telegraph track so we're going to head down that and i guess complete the southern section which should be interesting um, 
sort of every, I guess, caravan, oh, not caravan, but off-roaders um, goal, I think, to do the old tally track. So it should be good. I'm excited. But let's crack into it and hopefully come out the other side without any damage. Well, I believe this is the first little one, Palm Creek Crossing, which looks pretty gnarly. Bit of a drop. And uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing that one. Just because we're by ourselves, we're gonna find the little chicken track and head around it because that's, that's a bit gnarly. Horrible muddy crap. But yeah, there's another track down there and there's another one just over here. So we'll find our way around it and keep moving on. And well, I'm pretty surprised actually, it's school holidays. And don't there's, speak. <laughs> there's not many people, so. It's really early. Yeah, it's really early, but we haven't seen it. Oh, we've seen one car. So I guess we'll play it by ear, but let's find the easy way around here. So I believe we found the chicken track which is um, just to the right hand side. It's just over there, the main one. But I'm gonna walk up first, double check, because the track does keep going up along there. So we'll see what we can find down here. So I think we've found the way through which is uh, not going to be that way, but down the way we just walked and up this little track, which looks all right from what I've seen. So I guess we'll get back to the car and um, drop down it, come along here and sort of keep out of this mud because I don't want to get it dirty just yet. But we'll get back there and get into it. You're like a goat running up the hill. Well, that's the first one done. What was that one called? Oh. Palm Creek. Palm Creek, done. Um, chicken track. We did bottom out a little bit, just the bash plate at the front on the bull bar. And I think we hit the mirrors on the side of the, the wall there, but that's all right. Caught a bit of a tree. All good. We'll keep on moving, I guess. Well, not much has happened from the last little creek, but we've arrived here at Dullity. 
So this is Dullity River or Dullity Creek. Dullherty, maybe. Not too sure. I'll leave it below here. But it's a nice little creek and a lot of people use it as their first sort of campground on the OTT. But not for us. We're going to try and make it to the tip today and um, yeah, see how we go. But there's a little waterfall up there somewhere. So we'll see if we can find that, I guess. But good little spot. Lots of room. There's a fair few people here. And you can swim as well, so good spot. Not far from gunshot. I think it's around there somewhere. But it's starting to rain and is that a good thing? Absolutely not. <laughs> so we don't really know what to expect. Also gunshot, we're just we're gonna have a look at it. If there's anyone there to give us a hand to go across, we'll go for it. But I guess if there's no one there we might spin back and head around the detour. Um, I don't know, we'll see how we go. Might be able to walk it. Might be a bit shallower than everyone's saying, but we'll have a look. Well, I believe this is it. Gunshot Creek Crossing. And um, this is the one in all the videos. We're definitely not going to be doing this one. Or do you want to give it a shot? People actually go down. You've never seen them do that? Hey, someone's lost their jandals. So yeah, that one's out of the question just because we want to make it back somewhere. And I guess this one is out of the question as well. But I didn't know there was two little gunshot ones. We'll keep looking around, see if we can find a little chicken track. That might be it there. And there's another track just over here. So, by the looks of it as well, there's new tracks down there, sort of looping around up to there. So that might be the way through. But I guess, I don't know how deep it is, so I'll walk it first, see what it's like. And um, go from there, I guess. If it's too deep, too muddy, we'll spin around. Just walking back, there's another car's pulled up, which is bloody good. Two cars are pulled up, so we'll have a chat with them. See if we can get a go through with them. But I'm um, pretty confident down here. We'll see what these boys say. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera, but check that out. There's a massive arowana. Just... Arowana, is it? Giardini. Giardini, I think it is. Just swam straight past us, which is pretty cool. Legend, mate. Thank you. So, Ripper, we got through. We followed old mate through, which is bloody legend for him going first. But his other mate's going to do the drop, which is going to be pretty cool to see. So, I guess we'll jump in the water there and try and get right up close and film it. But, big cheers to these guys going through first. You jumping in the water to film it? No. Nah. Stay here.
that's gunshot. Done. Ticked off. Was the chicken track, but we got to witness old mate do the drop, which good on him. I mean, he's got balls. And um, yeah, just good on him. But gunshot done. Next stop, back on the main road, aren't we? Yeah, main road. And then try and get up to the ferry, Jardine Ferry. So let's, I guess, get out of here. There we are. We've done it. We've completed the southern section of the old telly track, which is a big sort of thing for us. Um, but now we're back on like the main road there, and it looks like the seals just ended there, which is a bit of a bugger. But yeah, on the main drag, up to the tip, and then spend the night there, up at the tip there somewhere. I think so, she's booked camp. I'm not too sure what she's done. But then tomorrow, head back along the northern section of the old telly, and that way we've completed the whole lot. But it's bloody overcast, it's threatening to rain. So I don't really know what to think there, but we're heading for the Jardine River. Try and get there, hopefully it's quiet, and cross over there. Let's get out of here. Do a little check of the car first, make sure everything's still there, still good. So $100 gets us our ferry ticket, return ticket, and a permit for camping. Free camping, is it? Well, not free, I don't know how much it is. Bush camping, but it just comes out of $100 for the return ticket on the ferry. Um, it's got a lot of information on there, but we'll have a look at that and keep going, I guess. We'll try and beat this rush because there's a load of cars just turned up. But there's the Jardine River Ferry Service, and they've run out of diesel. Anywho, let's get across there. We've made it to Punson Bay. Stepping out of the car, you could hear a helicopter just a minute ago, but you reckon we got the last spot? The doggy. Have we got the last spot? Yeah, the whole weekend. Ooh. We did see some cars heading back out, but only just came in, so lucky us, I guess. But we'll check in and go from there. It looks like a nice little spot. That's a nice caravan. Right, there it is, Punson Bay. Going in there? Maybe. Let's go. Yummy, yummy! Good. 
So we're all booked in. BF Beachfront 14, which is where are we here? Yeah. All the way over there. Just pretty much follow this along here. But that's it. Unpowered. Hunson Bay. How much was this? Forty dollars. Forty bucks a night. That's pretty good for the, those sort of views there. Um, but we'll get down to our spot. But what a good little spot that is. And a pool. So I know where I'll find Soch tonight. And I'll probably be at the bar. <laughs> well, this is going to be us. Number BF14. So we'll whack that on the windscreen. But beachfront definitely is. And uh, I guess we'll set up, we'll put this awning out and the swag out and see how we go. Something different to the caravan, I guess. How good's this? A couple of blokes fishing down there, I don't know if they're getting anything. Might be worth going have a look. Well, let's get into it. Set all this up, which is going to be different. <laughs> Are you excited to set this up? No. Well, this is our setup. Which is... Went all right, didn't it? Yeah. Setting it up. Bit of a faff, but you get that. Hot putting pegs in the tent, uh, in the swag. But yeah, how's the view? Bloody incredible, eh? Thanks. What? I'm the view. Listen to it. But anyway, it's relax time now. Can we just admit I did good? Yeah, you did good. You found a good little spot. Punson Bay. But, beer o'clock. Socia's on the hard stuff. Ginger we got beer. ginger beer. And just relax, watch the view. Maybe go for a swim in a bit. Definitely. Sweat box. Yeah. Don't know how that's going to go tonight. It's already, what, 30 odd degrees. We've got everything open on it and we've got a little Makita fan, so we'll see how we go. So, what do you reckon? Punts and bow. Actually, the fact that you can't swim in the sea lets it down. Oh. Yeah, that's just a little their, bit. That's not their fault, so. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking those. <laughs> <laughs> we got mackerel and chips. Was it 24 bucks? I served. You could have got a smaller good. one. 17. No point getting a smaller one. But, how's this review? Fish and chips for dinner on a Friday night. Some drinks with that beautiful view. I do some filming, put you on the spot. Well, that was a pretty good night in this little setup. What's your thoughts on the swag setup? Hot. Hot. <laughs> it was uh, rained a fair bit of the night. And it was just muggy and overcast and it's still overcast now but good little setup we got apart from it being a little bit hot we did have the fan but it was in the car and um that's about us it's a shame we're not staying another night because it's a beautiful little spot but we're just cooking up some bacon and eggs gonna pack up and hit the road get to the tip and tick off another one done the western most western point now we're doing the most northern point. I wore the same thing at the western point. <laughs> Donut. So we'll have two of them ticked off by the end of today. <laughs> You're a little bit heavier. Yeah. Just a little <laughs> so two ticked off um, by the end of today. And two to go, which are going to be the hard ones with all this COVID crap going on. But let's pack it up, have some brekkie and get out of here. Well, that's us done for Punsand Bay. 
a beautiful little spot. So let's just get a nice little picture there. Hopefully it'll be the thumbnail. But yeah, beautiful little spot, all done. Right on the beach, um, showered up, got a nice cuppa, and we're heading off.